In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate the behavior of no refer and other refer policies in your external links and show you how these different values share different bits of information with the pages that you're linking to externally. So right here, I have a basic web page with three links, just three links. So we were linking out to a secure website, a non-secure website, and internally. And let me show you down here, I have the source code for that. We're at home.html on the website like, comment, subscribe.club. So let's look at that source code. And just like we expect, we have those three links to a secure external website right here, a non-secure external website right here, and then an internal link. So let's see what happens as far as the refer policy is concerned when we click on each one of these links. So let's click on this one and we can check the refer value with document.refer and you'll see that it knows we came from like, comment, subscribe .club. Okay. Now for this link, HTTP, we look at the document.refer value and it is empty. There is no refer value. And for the internal link, we look at the document.refer value. And that knows we came from the full domain name, like, comment, subscribe club, and then the full path to the actual page that we we're on. So you can see how that differed uh, between the internal link and the external link here that was secure. And then the non-secure version didn't even have any insight into where we came from. Now, we can also look at this in the sources, I'm um, sorry, the network tab. If we look at um, the page here under the headers, under request headers, um, this one's not gonna have a refer value. That was a bad example. But uh, over here, we can do the same thing under headers, uh, request headers, you'll see the refer is that same value that we looked at. And we can also see the refer policy, strict origin when cross origin. So that's one of the, I think it's nine different refer values, refer policies that you can have. So we'll go through each one of those in this video, starting with no refer. Okay, so I updated the code here, the HTML code to say, for each one of these links, rel equals no refer, okay? It doesn't really make sense. I mean, maybe it does in some cases, internally, but let's see what this behavior looks like. You can probably guess. So we'll click on the secure link and we will go to the console, do document.refer and that is empty as we would expect because we're not sharing anything. Click on the HTTP link document.refer and that is also empty. And let me get that on my clipboard so it's easier. And then the internal link document.refer is also empty. Now, as you can see here, I updated the links yet again. This exact, uh, this right here, this configuration has the exact same behavior as rel equals no refer. We're actually adding the attribute uh, refer policy and saying no dash refer. So I won't go through that demonstration, but this is going to also share no information with the pages that you're linking to. The next refer policy I have is no refer when downgrade, which basically means that if we go from HTTPS, a secure version to a non-secure version, HTTP, we won't share anything with the page that we link to. So let's see what that looks like. So we'll click on the HTTPS version, document.refer shares everything this time, the domain name plus the path. We'll do HTTP, this is a downgrade, so that will share nothing. And then we'll do the internal link, which shares the entire URL. The next refer policy is strict origin when cross origin. So that was actually, uh, that is the default behavior for Google Chrome and a lot of websites or a lot of web browsers nowadays. So I won't go through that demonstration again, but basically um, let me read actually what this says, because this is actually pretty important. So it says you can send everything when performing the same origin request, which means if you're staying on the same domain name, we will send the entire URL plus path plus query parameters. And then for if you're going out to a different domain name, only send the domain name. We're not going to send the path or any parameters. And if we are going to less secure destinations, then we're not going to send anything. Next up, we have the refer policy called origin when cross origin. So regardless of if the security level drops from HTTPS to HTTP, we will send the, um, the domain name. So let's demonstrate that. So for a secure external connection, 
our document dot refer is going to be just the domain name. And then for a non-secure connection, we will also get just the domain name. And then the internal link will get everything. Next up, we have the refer policy called origin, which is going to unconditionally send the origin regardless of the destination page. So let's demonstrate that. HTTPS external, that gives the domain name. HTTP, that gives the domain name. And the internal link also gives the domain name. The next refer policy is called same origin, and this one will send everything, the path and the domain name, if you're staying within the same domain name, and it will send nothing if we're going outside, regardless of security level. So let's test it out. If we go to a external page here, that sends nothing. If we go to another external page with a lower security, that sends nothing. But if we stay internal, that will send everything. Next up, we have the strict origin refer policy, which will only send the domain name at most if the security levels stay the same, you know, HTTPS to HTTPS. But if it drops down to HTTP, we won't share anything. So let's check out that behavior here. So when we go to a, another secure website, even though it's external, it will show the domain name. If we drop security to an HTTP site, we share nothing. And if we go internal, and stay at the same security level, we share just the domain. And finally, last and probably least is the refer policy called unsafe URL, which is going to unconditionally share the domain name, the path, all query parameters with links, no matter if the security level drops, increases, or we go to a different domain name. So let's check that out. We go external to HTTPS and we share the entire URL that we came from. We go external to HTTP. Again, we share everything and then we stay internal and that also shares everything as well. I have another video that explains the difference between no refer, no opener, and no follow. So I recommend that you check that out next. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you over there.